Have you ever wondered how to edit your own audiobook or podcast? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that with Harrison Mixbus 32C. If you enjoy watching these case studies, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell so you'll be notified the next time we release videos in this series. And what we have here in front of me is just uh, two separate audio tracks. We are going to pretend that this is a podcast interview with two separate people talking, even though it's just random audio that I recorded in from YouTube. First thing I would probably want to do is let's say I want to go find some audio for an intro style music. So I can hit Command I and I'm going to go to my desktop here. And yes, I want to access my desktop and I'm going to go to YouTube music and we're going to find some music we can put at the beginning here. And you can have the option to autoplay this stuff as it comes in, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. So let's just go ahead and import this. And there we are. So let's bring this a little closer to the front. So that's going to get me where I want. And we're going to slide this forward a little bit more. Let's see what we can do for the intro here. Okay, not too bad. So let's highlight this region by clicking on it and pressing K to trim everything to the right. And we're just going to fade this out like so. And then we'll have our voices come in. So maybe this is where you would have a voiceover of the title of your podcast. And then it just flows right into the actual talking. So really, since we're only dealing with two tracks of audio, this is going to be pretty straightforward. There's really not a whole lot that we need to do as far as deep diving into like special techniques on how to edit audio. We're literally just going to be doing some splitting and maybe some ripple editing. Okay. Now, what I do need to show you is the edit mode over here in the top left hand corner. We have slide, we have ripple, and we have lock. Now, most of the time you are going to be in slide mode. And what that means is that I can take the region and I can slide it back and forth. Okay. It will slide according to the snap grid that you have turned on. So if you don't want it to go along to a grid mode, you can just turn snap off either by clicking on it or pressing the number four. And that will toggle the snap on and off. So you can see now I can freely move it back and forth independent of what the grid is. All right, another thing that we're going to concentrate on is actually splitting the audio. So like I showed in a previous video, we can click on the region Then I'm going to use my mouse for this and I'm just going to put my mouse where I want to make the split and then I can press S and you can see that it makes a split right there. So now I can go in here and say, all right, this section right here, I definitely want cut out. So I can either put my mouse there and choose split. And then select it again and choose split. And then I can just delete that. Now, if you don't want to use the mouse and the S key to make your splits, we could do stuff like this. As long as we have the smart tool on, then the grab mode is selected. We can actually put our mouse on the bottom half of the region to have it in grab mode. But if we move it to the top half of the region, it turns the cursor into the range mode, which is really helpful because now we can just make a range then we can hit delete. So now we can go in here, make a range there, hit delete. Maybe go here, hit delete. And let's take this section here and hit delete. So that makes things really easy. Now, since we do have two people talking right now, it's very important to keep both dialogues in sync with each other. Because if we start deleting one, but not the other, then things are going to get out of sync really fast. And that leads me into my next point is adding in ripple mode. So what this means is if I delete something, let's say I want to go here and this little section just doesn't need to be in there. I need to cut it out. So what I'm going to do is make a range across both tracks. And in ripple mode, everything from the right is going to move over after I delete this section. So watch this. See that everything just slid right over into place and closed up that gap. So this makes things really easy to figure out. It's like, all right, I'm going along and I noticed this section right here. Maybe we laugh or we just say something that doesn't need to be said and we want to cut that out. So I'm going to go in here 
make a range across both sections, and then hit delete. So now at this point, with these basic concepts under our belt, we can just go through and we can cut things out. Be like, yeah, we wanna cut out this dead space right here, which is fine. And just imagine, you know, we have one person talking on the top and then the other person is not talking. And then now the bottom person is talking and then the top person is not talking. So that's usually how podcasts are. You don't usually have two people talking at the exact same time but you can get the idea of what we're going for here. So I'm gonna go through and be like, yeah, this needs to be cut out. And then I can hold down shift and use my mouse wheel and just kind of glide over to the right and kind of just keep listening, keep listening. Oh yeah, we need to definitely cut that out right there and so forth. And, but let's say for example, that we don't want to be in ripple edit all the time. We can always press our one key on the top of our keyboard, and that goes between the different edit mode options. So now I'm back in slide, and let's say this person's talking right here, but I wanna cut this part out. So now I'm just gonna go here and hit delete. So now we can just keep going and keep going, and we're gonna cut this section out right here. Okay, let's go back to our ripple mode. Okay, so we're in ripple, I can hit delete, and now it all slides over. Now let's talk about audiobooks real fast. And let's just go in here and let's hide our second track. So now imagine a guy with a British accent reading an audiobook. We want to chop out any areas of dead space or lip smacks or just little things that we don't want in the audiobook. So we can go along here, maybe a lip smack for instance, so we can cut that out. And then depending on if you want to close the gap or not, we can either have it in slide or we can have it in ripple. In this instance, we're just gonna have it in ripple and we'll cut it out. And that moves everything over from the right and closes the gap. And maybe you wanna take that and you wanna fade it in a little bit, which might be fine, just depending on what the audio is. And then we can go here we can cut this section out. Well, we still wanna leave a little bit of space. And if we zoom in really far, we can see there are fades already at the ends of the audio region. So we don't have to worry about anything popping. But if you do wanna go in and make a fade, you can always do that as well. We could fade the two in like that. And here's another example where maybe we cut this out and then fade in what that little S or P pop is, whatever it is. Just go in here and let's cut this up a little bit more. And let's imagine that we have different chapters going on in our book. And we'll put another one right here and that should be good. So now let's make this first little section our chapter one. So I can make a range and I can right click and I can say add range markers. Maybe the book is called The Woods chapter one. Okay, we can also click on a region and right click and go to audio and go to ranges and add a single range marker. Now we can call this the woods chapter two. So you can see whether we make a range first and then right click and add range markers or if we just click on the region itself, we can still add range markers for our different chapters. Okay, so now what's really cool is with all our chapters in place, we can actually go in and we can maybe add some compression, maybe EQ a little bit. There's a great new plugin called the VIP from Harrison. And we could always throw that on there. And we can juice up the intensity a little bit if we feel like the audio needs to be brought up. And this automatically adds a leveler to the signal to just kind of help control the overall volume. We can use a little high pass and low pass filtering and with a bump and a bright feature. So that's a good option for working with podcasts or audiobooks. And then once we're ready to edit everything down and export it, we can go to session, export, and we can click on time span. And then we can select all these different time ranges. Okay, then we can click on the channel and we're just gonna base everything off of the master bus at this point. And then we can go in and tell it, maybe we want it 16-bit, 44-1. One. 
and we can press export. And now in the export report and analysis window, we can see we have all six chapters and we can open the folder and also see if we have all six clips right there, ready to go. Now we can send it off to the next company to package all these together and put it into an audio book. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always glad to help. Send us an email at mixbus at harrisonconsoles.com. And in the meantime, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.